Welcome back guys. In this video, we will start solving the transportation problem on Lingo. Now, as we saw in the previous videos, it's very easy to solve any optimization, linear optimization problem on Lingo. So it's very explicit and very easy. I can solve it in two to three lines and it's much easier than Excel. Now, in this case, in the case of transportation problem, you will see that no, Excel is much easier. And this is because if I need to solve the transportation problem, and if I need to write down these equations that I formulated in the mathematical formulation, I need to define some set and subsets. And this will take a sheet like you see, like you see here. So it will take the whole page. This is the bad news. Now the good news is that if you have the sheet, you can directly solve any transportation problem on Lingo in one minute. And this is only by changing the values of the cost and the name of the plant and warehouses. So if you have the sheet, you can directly solve any transportation problem after that. However, guys, I'm going to start by explaining the sheet a little bit and then after that you can use it directly and you can solve any transportation problem and I will teach you how. So guys, first of all, you have to define the sets. So I'm going to write sets with uh, two points and then I'm going to uh, 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 I'm going to write uh, what are the sets in this problem. I basically have two sets, the plants and the warehouses. So that's why here I said plants, two points sub. Sub means capacity or supply because I'm supplying the goods. I'm supplying my products from the plants to the warehouses. While in the warehouses, the subset is the demand. And in this case, guys, your supply or your capacity will be of the same size of plants because this is a subset of the plant. And yes, this is right. The capacity is a three and the plant, the number of plants is a three because I have for each plant a capacity. And same goes to the warehouses in demand. I have here four warehouses, so I should have four demands, one demand for each warehouse. Now then guys, I also have another additional set. And this set will be the matrix itself. It is the links between the plants and the warehouses. Because in fact, guys, if I have a three plants and I have four warehouses, this means that I should have 12 decision variables. X, I, J should be, uh, the number of X, I, J should be 12. For each I, I have four X, I, J, or for each j, I have three x i j because I have three plants and four houses. Three times four is 12. So basically, guys, I have to set the quantity inside the links, plants, and warehouses, as well as the cost. So as you can see, how many costs, costs do I have here? One, two, three, four times one, two, three. So they are also 12. So basically, guys, in this links, in the sets, I have the quantity and the cost. Quantity and cost will have the same size, of course, all right? Now, guys, after putting the sets, I'm going to present my data. And, guys, you should know that this is only the section that you should modify in each transportation problem. And then you can click directly on solve. So this is the only section that you need to modify. So if you have this sheet, you can solve any transportation problem by only modifying this data. Why? Because in this data, I'm going to present the data of my problem. I have three types of plants. They are Sunnyvale, Dublin, and Bangkok. So I'm going to write them here. So, so I wrote them in abbreviation, all right? And then I have four warehouses. So I'm going to say warehouses equal all these warehouses. Now, if you have six plants, you should write the name of these six plants. And if you have, let's say, 10 warehouses, you have to write on this line the uh, warehouses separated by space. And then don't forget to put a semicolon. Now, guys, I'm going to specify the supply or the capacity. All right. So you can, of course, change this name to cap. All right. So the supply of each plant or the capacity of each plant are 45, 120 and 95. You should put them, guys, with a space and semicolon. 
Okay, so you don't have to put a semicolon after each uh, value. It is the space and then the semicolon, as if it is a row vector. And the same goes for demand, 80, 78, 47, 55, and then a semicolon. Now, guys, if you put the number of supplies different than the, num uh, the, the number of plants, Lingo will give you an error because, in fact, I have three plants. Sub is a subset of plants, so they have the same size. I have four warehouses. Them is a subset of warehouses, so I should have four. All right? And then the cost, guys, because I know the cost. The cost is a data. The quantity should be found. Now, the cost here will be 12 values, and you have to copy-paste the table. All right? So I'm going to start from 250. And then go to the next line for the second row, next line for the third row, and then I'm going to end up with 1730. And then I have to put the semicolon. So this is only the set that, or this is only the, the section of Lingo that you need to modify. All right? So it is the only section that you need to modify, to modify if you want to solve any transportation problem. And then, and data, and then here, guys, for your objective function and the constraints, they are always the sim they are always similar for all the transportation problems. But I want you to understand them. I know that you don't have to worry about them because you don't have to change them, but I want you guys to understand how this sheet in Lingo is working. Now, I know, guys, that the profit, or sorry, that the cost should be minimized. So how it is minimized? By minimizing the sum over i going from 1 till n, the sum over j going from 1 till m, of the product of xij, cij, or of the product of the quantity and the cost. So this is what is written here. Minimum is equal to at sum at means I'm going to call the function on lingo. So the function here, the built-in function is sum. Sum of what? Cost times the quantity. But this cost and the quantity belong to what? Set to links. So that's why I'm going to say links ij, which means over i and over j, and then two points cost times the quantity. This is how we write uh, the minimum function or the objective function in Lingo. Now, what are the constraints? I know here, guys, that for each I, what does this mean? For each plant, all right? So for each plant of I, so that's it. For each plant of I, you can put small I or big I. Now here, Lingo is not a case sensitive software, all right? So at four, I have a for loop. I'm gonna call at, uh, I'm gonna call this four by using at. So at four, Plants for each I, all right, of the sum for J. So I'm going to do the sum of J. So that's why at sum of J, now J belongs to the warehouses of what? Of the quantity. XIJ is the quantity. Quantity, and this should be less than or equal to capacity, which is here the supply at I, because for each for each plant. And this goes also to the to the second constraint, which is the last one. For each J, and I know that J belongs to warehouses, that's why at four warehouses of J, I'm going to do the sum of the quantities, and this sum of quantity should be greater or equal to the demand, and I know that the demand here belongs to warehouses, and that's why demand of J. All right? So that's it, guys. If you have any other uh, uh, transportation problem, what you should only do is to modify the names of plants, modify the names of warehouses, modify the supply, the demand, and the cost, and then you click on solver, and then solve, and then you will have the same answers of Excel, all right? So these are the values, you can compare them with Excel, so it will give me, sorry, these are the values from quantity, all right? So it will give me the quantity from each a plant to each warehouses, and they should be 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that's it, guys. And of course, you can also find the cost. So the objective function is 297,800. And then here on Excel, the objective function is also uh, uh, 297. 800. So guys, this is how to solve any transportation problem using uh, Lingo and Excel. Now we finished this part. In the next part, we will talk about uh, statistical data using Excel as well as ANOVA statistics.